Hello, welcome to the unboxing of my 310 shake box. I have already scratched out the address so nobody can stalk me. Um, my name's Amanda, I am with uh, Chameleon Keto and I am starting a brand new, well, kind of brand new, I've done keto before, but I'm doing low carb now. And you guys can watch my journey if you want because it's gonna be a little crazy. I'm a little crazy. Um, I've tried lots of diets over the years, nothing has worked. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try a different approach and do this. Everything you see here I got for um, $120. I have one of these shakes and let's see we got the organic vegan vanilla I think another vanilla this one I'm really excited about it's salted caramel caramel however you prefer to say it they gave me a 90 day wellness journal they say it's a um value of $29, but you know, um, MCT oil, MCT oil is a good, good fat to add into your, your low carb diet. If you need to get your fats in for the day. So this extra little packet here, I got the, um, like starter kits so they came with these things um, I bought two of them and so I got technically two of the gift cards they also send an email to you with the code so this comes with a vanilla shake a chocolate which I didn't buy in the bigger size because I wasn't sure if I'd like it I love chocolate but I'm very picky a little salted caramel I think these are one-time like to-go packets um, 15 grams of protein let's see the back okay. hibiscus detox tea and we have a mixed flavor juice these are Probably a little higher carb than I want to do. We'll see, I'll look at those a little better later on. And then with each of those, I got two shaker cups. Move this box so everything's a little brighter. Probably information packets and my invoice. So I paid about $120 for everything you see here. The shaker bottles, I think, um, they're free, but they cost 99 cents to, um, to upgrade to the colored ones. You can do turquoise or purple right now. So those are pretty cool. My second $10 gift card, I'm probably gonna use when I can afford to buy more of this. Um, for those who don't know, I am balling on a budget here. I couldn't afford to buy too much. Um, let's see if I can get this in a way you can see. So I got this, the tea, these two, MCT oil, and three of the 14 day, I think they're 14 days. Uh, let's see, 14.7 ounces. It says on the website how many servings. Let's see, 14 servings per container. Serving size is one scoop. It says that the total carbs are seven grams a serving for this, however, um, I go based on net carbs, and since there is five grams of fiber, I subtract that from the total carbs where you get two grams of net carbs. If you're not sure exactly how net carbs work, um, the way that I do it is if it says that there's sugars or sugar alcohols, basically sugar alcohols are going to be your alternative zero calorie sugar, so you're usually keto friendly sugars. Um, so you can subtract those usually from the total carbs. Let's see, all these have the same. 
I'm just making sure because one of these said one of these said it was the keto starter kit and the other one said it was the like a regular organic vegan whatever but um it's looking like they're the exact same thing I mean everything I saw on their website was pretty much low carb keto so I think we're good there not sure about these little lemonades though I'm not sure what the point oh, let's see it says hydrates energizes and alkalizes um, alkalizing is going to be um, helping with the pH if you have like high acidity if you're eating foods that are very high um, in acidity it's supposed to help alkalize or neutralize the acids in your stomach in your body etc but I am excited about this it was a free gift I think I had to spend Gosh, I think I had to spend at least $80 to get this. It might've been $100 to get this, but um, I have an account and they will send you an additional one the next time you order if you hit that minimum. So I really like that. If I fill this up, I, have a, I can still get a second one or a third one or fourth one. Um, they don't cap you necessarily. I mean, per order they give you one only, but who needs more than one per order, right? So let's see what's in this journal, how it can help. 310, 90 day it says, food guide. This might not be a keto friendly one. This might have just, this might just be like an eat healthy guide. Fats, proteins, liquid, other, grains, fats, processed carbs. Well, it does say to stay away from, if you can see that. So that might actually be helpful um, for those who are doing keto, for those who aren't doing keto, but still want to do like low carb. Um, this is pretty cool. It, it lets you take your measurements and write it in. I hope this is, you can see this. So then it has a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So yeah, this I actually, I might use this just because it's free and what the hell, you know? No point in not using it. Okay, so in the next next portion here, we're going to taste some of the things. I'm going to wash these um, thoroughly before I use them for the first time just because you don't know what the heck's in there. Um, All right, okay. guys. So you got to see the unboxing of my 310 shakes and everything that I was able to get for about $120. It was really uh, like $117 and then we had, I think $10 shipping. Um, I know that there's ways to get free shipping as well. So check that out if you're interested in trying these as well. Um, I went ahead and got two of these uh, bottles made up this one I got on Amazon and it is way bigger than this one. This came with the 310 shakes. Um, so this one we have salted caramel. Really interested to, to try this one. They both smell a little weird out of the bag, but as soon as you start mixing it with water, it smells, it's like it activates the fragrance and the flavor, hopefully. So we're gonna try this one first. I'm gonna give it a out of 10 rating, I guess. I've tried a lot of different shakes. One of the ones I haven't tried yet is um, Keto Chow, so I think I'm going to try that next just to see what the difference is because I've, I've read a lot of good reviews that you leave it overnight or for 30 minutes and it gets really thick like an actual shake. So that's one of the problems that I have with a lot of shakes is that they're not, like I just want it to be like milkshake consistency. I feel like if it was like that, I would really stick to it a little bit more because, you know, the fatty in me just wants milkshakes. Okay. So we're gonna try salted caramel first. This one just has water mixed in with it. This one actually has some heavy cream and a little bit of MCT oil. So if the calories are about 110 with just water, this one's 110 calories. Um, these ones are probably gonna be, let's see, probably almost 300 calories with the heavy cream that I put in it. I mixed it with water as well. Um, probably two to three tablespoons and then just a little splash of the MCT oil. I didn't measure anything but you should measure if, um, if you're trying to be strict with yourself. All right, bottoms up. Mm. 
Hmm. It's not bad. Um, there's a little tiny bit of grittiness. I think that that could be helped if you, I'm, I'm assuming this one will be less gritty just because you have that like that dairy and that silky smoothness in it with the whipping, the heavy cream. This is just water and shake mix. So, you know, it's, it's not the best way, I don't think, to drink these shakes. I think when you are, when you're supplementing something so low calorie like this, it's, and if you're doing keto, it's so much better if you add in like an avocado or something like that, make an actual smoothie. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can supplement these um, to make it a higher calorie, higher fat, and still be low carb. So that one's good. Um, I won't have this like this every day though. It's not something that I, I just don't think I could stick to it if it's just water and shake mix, um, just because it's a little too plain for me. But you know, if I'm gonna be sticking to a diet, it has to be something that I can eat every single day and not get bored. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? I know that I'm on a, a diet per se, but you know, okay. So this one is just vanilla. Um, I've heard really good things about their vanilla. I guess they have one of the highest rating ones for like vegan organic um, shakes. So we will see how it is. I like that the both of these lids are really hard to get off because um, you don't want stuff flying everywhere. All right, let's. And I haven't tried either of these before at all. I'm. It was hard to wait for the video because I got these yesterday or the day before and I really wanted to try them, but I was like, let's wait till it's a nice day outside and I can get some better lighting because I live in Oregon and it's overcast all the time. Anyway, okay. So this one already smells better than that one. Maybe it's the dairy added because dairy's, I love it. Okay. Like 10 times better immediately because of the heavy cream. So the biggest difference between these isn't even in taste, it's in texture. So this one is just way thicker than this one. And obviously when you put in heavy cream with something, um, it's, it's thick. So it's going to thicken it up if it's, if it's mixed with something lighter like water. So flavor wise, it's actually really, really good. I actually, so I was more excited about this one because salted caramel, yes. Um, but this one actually tastes better to me. Um, and even if we're taking the heavy cream out of the equation, I think that the flavor profile with this, it's its almost like they took longer to come out with this one than they did this one. I have no science or any, any facts backing that up, but it just seems better quality. Um, but I am gonna try to mix the salted caramel with um, heavy cream and just see uh, what the difference would be. Let me actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go do that. I'll be right back and we will try it with just some heavy cream added and then I can do a better comparison. All right, all right we are back. So I went ahead and, make sure this is closed all the way. I added some heavy cream, about the same amount that I added to this one just to make sure it would be a really even comparison. Um, to this one. So I'm really interested to see what the difference, if there's going to be a difference in the actual flavor, because you know, when you add an ingredient, it can change the overall flavor profile. So shook this for a little while. Again, love that it's hard to get off because I would spray it everywhere. <laughs> You know, adding the heavy cream to this one, it almost takes a little bit more of the caramel flavor away, but it does make it smoother. It's creamier. Um, I think that, I feel like this would be so much better if you just added a little more caramel flavor back so you could get, um, like if you're not super, super strict, you could get like a sugar-free caramel flavoring and just put it in here. It would be so good in coffee, you guys. Just just try it. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. It's, yeah. So, yeah. It's good. Um, 
it's still good. I like the smoothness that you get when you add heavy cream to it. Um, some people shy away from using heavy cream when they're using like keto chow just because keto chow already is a higher calorie shake mix, I guess. Um, I've never tried it, but um, I've read that if you add the heavy cream, it makes it like a little too high calorie. Um, but for something like this, it being 110 calories per serving, I don't see any issues with adding in those fats and making it an even like 300 calories or 400, whatever, especially if you're replacing a whole meal. Like if you're replacing two meals a day and you were just drinking it with just water, um, you wouldn't be getting enough calories in, in the day. So, and you want to be making sure you're doing, doing all this the healthy way. Um, otherwise you're just going to gain the weight right back and you're going to be real sad. So um, MCT oil, this came with my 310 shake, like I said in my, um, the other part of the video, but it doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't even taste like coconut. It comes from coconuts. It's just a little way to add, um, it's a good way to add a little more fat to your diet. You can use this to saute vegetables. You can use it in pretty much anything you want that requires a little bit of oil or fat. So I really like that that came with it. So overall, I'm gonna give both of these the, the seven out of 10. I think that seven is a good marker. Both of these could, could obviously be a little bit better, but for what they are and being organic and vegan, I think that 310 did a really, really great job in um, getting those flavors, getting the thickness right. I mean, you can't get too much thickness if you're just you know, putting in water. Um, so if, you, if you're looking for that shaky consistency, um, I would definitely use heavy cream. Um, I'm gonna try it in a blender with some ice and avocado with this and see if I can make like a nice smoothie or a milkshake or something and still be very low carb and get, get some good fats in for the day. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be making more like this, um, more updates on my weight. I'm gonna try to post um, two, two times a week, at least one time a week. Um, I do have a day job and I have a small business and other things you know going on in my life. So I'm not gonna make any promises, but um, I see a, a lot of positivity in the future for me and this journey that I'm on. So I'm really excited to show everybody and to look back on my videos and see um, hopefully all the prog progress I've made. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful day. It's shiny and sunny here in Oregon. So, all right. Well, you guys have a great day. Bye. So I'm actually gonna try the chocolate um, here at the end of the video rather than doing my own whole video for it since this is just um, a quick tasting of the chocolate. They gave me um, one little one-use packet for it. So I mix this with heavy cream and water. Oh, and a little bit of this MCT oil again. Um, it smells a lot better than both the vanilla and the salted caramel. Very surprised. Okay, this one's my favorite. <laughs> I was worried to buy a full bag of the chocolate because I'm really, really picky as a sort of chocolate connoisseur. I thought I would absolutely hate this but it's really, really good actually, especially with the heavy whipping cream inside of it. It's very thick, it's very creamy. It's got, definitely got a chocolate flavor to it. Um, I would even add a little more cocoa powder to it just to make it more chocolatey um, and you could still be keto and do that. So very, very happy with this. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> okay guys. Now this is the end of the video. Um, you can like and subscribe if you want to follow me and taste tests and uh, keto recipes and tips and tricks and uh, following my weight loss journey. So, bye guys.